Patricia Rock, an acclaimed actress of classic Hollywood, captivated audiences with her timeless charm and remarkable talent. Whether it was a specific role or a particular film that first brought her to your attention, Rock's cinematic presence left an enduring impact on many. Beyond her well-known achievements, the allure of lesser-known facts and anecdotes about this talented artist adds a layer of fascination. What hidden gems from her life and career resonate with you? As we reflect on Patricia Rock's contributions to the silver screen, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic actor. Your stories provide a unique lens through which we can appreciate the enduring legacy of Patricia Rock. We would love to hear your thoughts and memories in the comments below. Patricia Rock, the acclaimed actress, had a complex personal life that unfolded amidst her successful film career. In 1939, she entered her first marriage with a Canadian osteopath, a man two decades her senior. However, this union proved short-lived, lasting only a few years. One notable aspect of Rock's personal life is her son, Michael, born in Paris. The child's father was Anthony Steele, Rock's co-star in Something Money Can't Buy. Despite the affair, Michael was raised as the son of Rock's second husband, Andre Thomas. Amidst her cinematic journey, Rock held a particular fondness for the brothers, marking it as her favorite film. This personal insight provides a glimpse into Rock's cinematic preferences and the impact certain roles had on her. These aspects of Patricia Rock's life offer a nuanced perspective beyond her on-screen presence, shedding light on the challenges and choices that shaped her journey both professionally and personally. Patricia Rock's journey in the entertainment industry began with her stage debut in 1938 at the Ambassadors Theatre in London's West End, playing Miss Clark in the Comedy Nuts in May. It was during this performance that she caught the attention of movie mogul Alexander Korda. Shortly after, Rock made her screen debut in the 1938 costume epic, The Rebel's Son. Her film career took off during World War I, with millions like us marking her first significant role. Rock's cinematic pursuits flourished, boasting a 40-film career. Notably, her second husband, Andre Thomas, was a French film cameraman. Beyond her on-screen accomplishments, Rock's personal life added layers to her narrative. Her first marriage to a Canadian osteopath ended swiftly, leading to a brief union. Despite a complex personal life, she embraced motherhood with her son Michael, whose father was her co-star Anthony Steele in Something Money Can't Buy. Michael was raised as the son of Rock's second husband, Andre Thomas. Amidst her cinematic journey, Rock held a particular fondness for the brothers, marking it as her favorite film. This personal insight provides a glimpse into Rock's cinematic preferences and the impact certain roles had on her. These aspects of her life offer a nuanced perspective beyond her on-screen presence, shedding light on the challenges and choices that shaped her journey both professionally and personally. Born to a Dutch father and a half-French mother, Patricia Rock's life was as diverse as her heritage. Amidst her successful film career, she embraced motherhood, raising her son Michael in Paris with her second husband, Andre Thomas, a French film cameraman. Beyond the glamour of the silver screen, Rock's interests delved into the ordinary joys of life. She found solace in gardening, the art of cooking, and the soothing strokes of painting, though not portraits. Additionally, tapestry work added another dimension to her multifaceted persona, in the realm of cinema, Rock's journey began with a stage debut at the Ambassador's Theatre in London's West End in 1938. Movie mogul Alexander Korda noticed her, catapulting her into the 1938 costume epic The Rebel's Son. World War I I marked a pivotal period for her, with millions like us being her first significant role in a prolific 40-film career. Despite a complex personal life, including a brief marriage to a Canadian osteopath, Rock's resilience shone through. Her son Michael, born from an affair with co-star Anthony Steele, was embraced as the son of Andre Thomas. The brothers held a special place in Rock's heart, marking her favorite film and providing a glimpse into her cinematic preferences. This brief exploration into Patricia Rock's life goes beyond the film reel, shedding light on a woman whose personal interests and challenges enriched her journey both on and off the screen. A perennial presence in British cinema, Patricia Rock, often hailed as the epitome of British beauty, left an indelible mark on the industry. J. 
Arthur Rank, head of her studio, dubbed her the archetypal British beauty and the goddess of Odians. Sir Noel Coward, recognizing her talent, lauded her as a phenomenon and an unspoiled movie star who can act. This acclaim was not without merit, as Rock consistently ranked among Britain's top box office stars for an impressive 10 consecutive years. Her journey in the spotlight began in 1937, making her stage debut at the King's Hammersmith in productions like The Late Christopher Bean and Reunion in Venice. Rock's prowess on the stage caught the discerning eye of movie mogul Alexander Korda, propelling her into the 1938 costume epic The Rebel's Son. Her film career soared during World War I, marked by her first significant role in Millions Like Us and a prolific 40-film career. Beyond the glamour of cinema, Rock embraced motherhood in Paris, raising her son Michael with second husband André Thomas, a French film cameraman. While her personal life saw complexities, her resilience and multifaceted interests, including gardening, cooking, and painting, enriched her journey on and off the screen. As one of Britain's cinematic stalwarts, Patricia Rock's legacy endures, etched in the annals of a remarkable career that transcended mere on-screen presence. Born into privilege and secrecy, Patricia Rock's early life unfolded in a world of wealth and revelation. Adopted as a baby by André Ries, a prosperous Dutch-Belgian stockbroker, she bore his last name without knowing the truth until the age of 34. This revelation added a layer of complexity to Rock's narrative, shaping her identity in unexpected ways. Raised in the lap of luxury, Rock received an exclusive education at prestigious schools in London and Paris. Her formative years included a stint at London's Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts from 1935 to 1936, laying the foundation for her later success in the entertainment industry. However, Rock's journey took an unexpected turn when, despite Andre Tomas' inability to have children, an affair with Anthony Steele in 1952 resulted in the birth of her son. Astonishingly, Thomas embraced paternity, introducing a unique dynamic to Rock's unconventional family life. As Rock navigated the intricacies of her personal life, her professional career continued to flourish. With roots in both the stage and screen, she became a prominent figure in British cinema. Rock's resilience, coupled with the twists and turns of her personal life, added depth to her on-screen persona. In exploring Patricia Rock's life, one cannot overlook the blend of privilege, secrets, and unexpected turns that defined her journey. The intersection of her adoption, education, and unconventional family dynamics sheds light on the intricate tapestry of her life, showcasing a woman whose personal and professional realms were as captivating as the characters she portrayed on screen. Patricia Rock, a trailblazer in British cinema, made history as the first homegrown British star to venture to Hollywood under a lend-lease deal between Rank Pictures and Universal Studios. In 1946, she co-starred in the Western Canyon Passage alongside Susan Hayward. Notably, a then-struggling actor named Ronald Reagan was romantically involved with Rock during the filming of this movie. Susan Hayward praised Rock's performance, declaring her a formidable dame. Rock's foray into Hollywood marked a significant chapter in her career, breaking new ground for British actors on the international stage. Despite challenges, she left an enduring impression not only on the silver screen, but also in the hearts of her colleagues. This Hollywood stint showcased Rock's versatility, earning accolades from seasoned performers like Susan Hayward and providing a glimpse into the intriguing dynamics of her personal life. The backstage romance with Ronald Reagan adds a layer of intrigue to Rock's Hollywood venture, revealing the lesser-known aspects of her time in Tinseltown. As we delve into Patricia Rock's cinematic journey, this Hollywood escapade stands as a testament to her impact beyond British borders.